Good morning, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Rude Money back, living a better sweet life than you already know. I am blessed to be here. Yes. Uh, so, listen, 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 listen. Hey, we got the block done and paid for. It's on the way back over here, man. Yo, I'm so, so, so excited for this. The block is something that I've been waiting for for literally 10 weeks. And when they tell you wait 10 weeks at CSS, they're not kidding. Wait 10 weeks. Do not contact them. Do not give them an, uh, ask for an update or none of that. If they don't post something on your Instagram, all right, I spoke to them. If they don't post something on your Instagram, it's because they just forgot. They, they don't always post. They just post random things. He says, yo, whatever, I pull out my phone and I randomly snap something. That's when I post it. But for the most part, I'm, I'm, I'm not posting everything. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, well, shit. Uh, okay. You know, I got I, kind of made me feel some type of way because I thought my build was going to be something special, something different that he maybe hasn't done, that he maybe wanted to, wanted to post. Um, he didn't. It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm sure he's done a lot of N55s. You know what I'm saying? A lot of N55s. So to him, it's just another N55 block. Uh, he maybe doesn't know the platform's going on, or he maybe he just doesn't even care because he does so many of them. A lot of cooler builds, or just as cool builds, who knows? It's all to, to your own opinion. I'm excited about my build. I don't think it's going to be the coolest build out there. I do think it's going to be the, you know, mine. It's going to be mine. So, that's what matters to me. Now, <clears throat> yo. Yo, so, with that being said, with that being said, right, um... We need to show the parts that we're gonna go deliver. You know, I've, I, there's a lot of parts I haven't showed and I won't be showing that are not here, that are already in the car since they, since the car was first initially dropped off when the motor got taken out and when the engine got taken out and all that stuff. You know, I was like, that's all those parts are like they're still not in the car, but they're just not here, right? Okay. Anyways, since then. Since I've dropped off the car, <clears throat> it's been a couple months now. I've got different things, bro. I got a lot of different things. So I decided to do a couple parts over. For example, exhaust, cold air intake, and I'll get a little bit more into that later. But I did have to do some parts over, I had to rebuy some parts, uh, things like that. As uh, you, you maybe may not know, but maybe you do. Um, I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of break part changes on this freaking 5 Series, man. A lot of different brake parts. I've gone through a lot of different brake pads. Um, R1 Concepts, no. Uh, I, I use their, their their rotors because they're cheap and they're good. Are they the best? I don't know. They're pads. I just haven't had best experience. Um, but yeah, so I ended up then getting the Extreme con ex power, power Stop extreme sport the green box with the black and green box i don't know i'm sure i won't be able pop uh, if i find a picture I'll, I'll, I'll put it whatever i ended up going with those and i ended up getting the goodridge um steel braided brake lines and then getting some i don't remember if it was Moto or I, whoever made some brake fluid right it was just some racing brake fluid so of course the boiling temp was a lot higher now i did that <clears throat> it did decrease a lot of the break early brake fade but i did still have brake fade um so that i wasn't convinced that's pushing just off the shelf full bolt on stage two you know what i'm saying like not crazy not crazy off the shelf map you know full bolt on um i did an e30 blend and even then after a few runs a few hits uh i feel the brake fade so changed a lot of brakes and stuff and stuff like that <clears throat> And I need to make this a quick video, bro. I'm trying to make two videos in one. Uh, if you guys saw the uh, the water hookah bong grab a trong, whatever it is, if y'all watch that video, you, you'll see I'm literally dressed exactly the same way because it's exactly the same day. It's literally minutes later after I finished that video, and now I'm making this video. And you already know I had to get in my mood so I can nicely present this video to y'all. And I'm trying to run this down real, real, real quick. I don't have all the parts here, like I said. So, um. <clears throat> I'm gonna let y'all know what I'm doing over. First, starting with the AFE power uh, cold air intake, right? 
I bought this from a company that I've never purchased before. I actually totally forgot their name. I'm not gonna shout them out right now because they did have a picture of a carbon fiber one. I thought I was gonna get carbon fiber. It was not carbon fiber. It was a good price though. It was not like carbon fiber price or full carbon fiber price kit, so it wasn't bad. Over here, I have the Precision Race Works um, uh, 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 intake manifold. All right, this is the intake manifold. No, they do not make this color whatsoever. They do not make this color. I got this and got, uh, I took this and got powder coated. This powder coat over here, man, is beautiful, beautiful purple. It is a beautiful purple. Y'all don't bite my stuff. Do not go and get that color on y'all 5 Series because this is my colorway. This is mine right here. If I see y'all do this, I see nobody with it. I know you got it for me. This is rude money approved. This is me right here. Y'all don't do it. Y'all will be biting. FYI. All right. So, yeah. This position race works. Got that. I've been had this. Now, over here, man. I'm excited. Over here, uh, I ain't going to take it out. I ain't going to take it out, really. But we're going to do this quick. Like I said, I got to get to work. <clears throat> Ooh. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Remus exhaust tips. What does that mean? What does that mean? Am I just changing my exhaust tips? Am I going to be a ricer, biter, straight pipe just with a nicer little tip? Absolutely not. That is the rest of the exhaust right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is the rest of the exhaust. There's no point in showing that. I will show it once it gets installed. So, yes, new Remus exhaust. As you may or may not know, I have the uh, Megan Supreme on there. So, that is another part that, yeah, I am redoing completely. Um, I always wanted the remix. It was you know, the way I wanted to go. When I first started, I didn't realize that maybe I could have got it for the same price. However, no restarting now. It is what it is. All right, y'all busting it over here. We have the limited slip differential. I can't believe I got this on time, man. You already know wave track differentials, limited slip diff. Uh, if you know, you know. If you don't know, well, go find out what this is. <clears throat> this is must have right here, All right? Must have. This I bought a while ago, man. Oh, I can't skip this. I'm sorry. You know, magnetic little slump plug. Make sure that the oils oil has no uh, no shavings in it. <clears throat> this I have for a while now. If you know, you also know BM3. All right, flex fuel plug. Uh, that right there is going to be a life changer, as you may or may not know. Um. <clears throat> EBC brakes for the brake pads, y'all. Y'all got the brake pads. M5 conversion brake pads, bro. Yes, I had to do it on y'all boys. I had to do it on them. I had to do it. Now, with this, I had to buy a whole conversion kit. Now, they say, okay, well, I get the conversion kit in this because it's going to be a little bit, you know, uh, better priced if you just go and get a full, all four, um, all four corner set. However, <clears throat> That's another thousand seven dollars I just didn't have at the moment, which I still have to spend on other things. So, yeah, you already know I had to put different stickers on there. Hope those came out good. I don't know if they came. I mean, I just copied how it was originally, so you already know. And that's the other one. I just need to unwrap it. But yeah, those didn't come right like that. Um, over here, bro. Mounting bar in the same purple. Like I said, you got this color. You got it off with me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mounting bar. Yes. Uh, comedic head gasket. Rather have it than not need it. Need it than not have it. Right? Is that what it said? Rather have it than not need it than need it than not have it. Yeah, that's what it is. You know I'm saying comedic, 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 comedic. I created my own little, my own little uh, theme song to that. Comedic, comedic, comedic. I've been waiting for this thing. Right. Got it. Um. Anyways, on to the next thing. We have Downstar Titanium Kit in the Cotton Candy colorway. Yeah! I can't wait to put this on. This is different, different. All right? Different, different. How about your boys? Yo, Downstar, you already know. At me. Let me get some sponsorships up. Uh, these right here are the... Dining coils, the upgraded B58 dining coils. I want to do the M55 to B58 coil conversion. Uh, so yeah, bro, that's what that is. I still have not received the adapters though. I haven't received the conversion kit itself. I just got the coils. Um, I don't, I don't know what the hell. So yeah, um, precision race works. Be it uh, transmission, oil cooler fitting. That's all this is. 
And over here, bro. Oh, over here. I was looking for this for a long time. MMR did it. I love MMR, bro. I'm like low key. Like they're super. What, what you call it? Uh, um, 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 um. Super what? Underrated. There you go. Underrated. MMR is lit, bro. These are out of the UK. They are lit. First ones I've seen to do. And a gas cap, bro. A billet gas cap. How cool is that, bro? How cool is that? A billet gas cap? Are you kidding me? Like, who else has this? Who else has this? No one. That's who. No one. That's who. Bro, this is super, super lit. I'll put that away later. Anyways, so, bro. Yeah, oh, Vargas Turbos. I know a lot of their things. You know, a lot of people don't like their things. But I do. I like Vargas Turbo. Oh, shit. My bad. Got y'all looking over there. Um... This right here, I, man. I don't know if this is if this is Vargas right here. I forgot where I got this from. I forgot where I got this from. I think this might be Burger Motorsports. I ain't even gonna lie. This is some sort of billet fitting, coolant billet fitting or something. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna do billet everything I want. No plastic parts breaking on me. So I just bought billet everything for the car. Um, billet uh, power steering cap billet whatever i have some other stuff from them but again that's already like in the first parts haul that i sent to them so yeah um oh yeah i got sway bars bro sway bars i box sway bars i don't know if they usually come in one box or two however i had to make two different purchases because bro reality is it was a lot cheaper like this i saved over 300 dollars doing it this way um you know, I bought one off of eBay, another one off of Tire Rack. Uh, the one off of eBay's was still Tire Rack, but just through eBay. I don't know, man. It was a whole confusion. A lot more money saved. A lot of money saved. So I did that. Uh, the brakes conversion kit is in that box over there. Um, that came from Russia. He actually sent that super, super fast, bro. So shout out to him. Love that guy. True. Now, he did give me a good, a good price on it, too. He gave me a little discount. So... Yeah, shout out to him. I think his name is Nick. Yo, and that's pretty much for the parts haul here. I ain't even going to take no more of your time. This is the parts haul that we're going to be sending out. Like I said, I had to do uh, an exhaust system again because the Supremo Megans uh, just were not cutting it for me. Um, yeah, just didn't like it. Um, so, yeah, that's what that box is. That box is where my valve cover is. Y'all going to see my valve cover video. It's just going to be like a quick... Uh, montage kind of thing where I'm painting and then you're gonna see the before and after pretty much I'm gonna try to put some some pictures of what it really was on the first uh, Paint session on that. It was a nice purple as well, but it wasn't it didn't match this purple So I didn't want to have a two-tone purple kind of look a little, a little corny uh, Make it look like mixed matching and stuff. So I just completely changed it to where it's gonna match better now um, with a whole nother color and the reason why I couldn't powder coat the valve cover is because the valve cover has a little plastic part on it where, um, I don't know why y'all still looking on it. <clears throat> I'm just trying to rush. Anyway, so, what I was saying, oh yeah, the valve cover got a plastic part on there. That plastic part, I don't want to take it off. I don't want to have to re-glue it. I don't want to have to do none of that. So, I just completely did a different type of paint job on there. I'm actually painting it myself. And I have a little bit of experience already painting on the 4 Series. I don't know if I showed y'all, but... And with some video, I'll show y'all. Um, I, I, I painted all the plastics underneath that. So, yeah, it looks pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie, it looks pretty dope. Um, so the 5 Series is gonna get that kind of treatment, but on the valve cover, a lot better paint, a lot a lot more patiently done. Um, you know, it's been taking days to do, especially because I have to go to work in between. And uh, like I said, it, it's just complicated. But I am gonna go do another coat right now. As a matter of fact, let me show y'all uh, a coat right now in this same video let's get it yo so look at your boy's balcony your boy's balcony is big bro they got this this thing is big bro um but regardless look how it's looking dog do y'all see that that's so much paint on the floor yeah it'll come up i think but jeez anyways so man here it is here it is here it is actually hold on let me get a better light oh yeah here it is here's how it's looking Yo, look at that right there, bro. That right there is coming out crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Like, the shine and the glitter on this? 
know what I'm saying? No drip, no overspray. I've been trying to, you know what I'm saying, take it very, very carefully. Do this very, very nicely. Um, and man, 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 man. You know, during this video right now, I just found a little section I want to go ahead and retouch. You know, because that one really has, I haven't really painted or aimed at that. That makes a lot of sense to, you know, go in there, right? Look at that. I haven't really, everything else had a lot more coats. I need to go get a little bit deeper on that with the coats. But, bro, this is a beautiful, beautiful paint color. Um, I love this. This is an engine and ammo, so it's very, very heat resistant. All right, and this is how it's coming out. And that's how it's coming out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, is it perfect? No. Am I doing perfect? No. I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm in my backyard. It's screened in, so I'm good there. But, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it's looking like. I'm trying to get into this crevice right here. And that's why I'm not finished, because y'all can see in that crevice. It's a little gray. At the end of the day, I'm going to just have to leave like that. I'm about to leave like that, because I don't want to do that. Mess it up because of that little thing right there. And y'all see it here. I'm not really too worried about that it's gonna, it, it's gonna get dirty you're not gonna see it i'm not worried about that the main thing is you know what i'm saying so yeah yo oh hold on hold on let me turn off the light not put the light on y'all uh -huh. wait a minute oh okay. my bad yo pretty lit pretty lit all right, but anyways, bruh, ladies and gentlemen, YouTubers, my watchers, all of my 16, 17 viewers, and then those of y'all that I follow that maybe don't view, so maybe four, five, six, seven of y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But regardless, hey, this thing is coming out dope. I'll share the secret with y'all afterwards if this video gets at least 10 likes. Like, Let's put it at 10 likes. I'll make a video of the paint that I used, how many coats, which I'd be lying on because I have no idea. It's been a lot of coats. Um, but I'll tell you how many cans I went through. Um, so like that, y'all can imagine like how many coats I've gone. And yeah, what else? What else? Oh yeah, and then the finishing touch that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit more research before I do that finishing touch because I'm really satisfied with this color and I just wanna make sure that this finishing touch, this finishing process that I'm gonna do, this finishing step that I'm gonna do to this valve cover, it's not gonna mess it up in the long run because I know this is, this, this right here is engine and ammo, super high heat resistant. Um, my finishing touch, I don't know if it is, it's not, it's not sponsored, it's not, promoting it you know what i'm saying it's not really promoting it so i'm a little skeptical i ain't gonna lie to y'all i'm a little skeptical that that it may be just ain't it it may be just ain't it you know what i'm saying it is nice twenty dollars a can though i bought two cans could it be uh you know a little bit more than than i need yes maybe maybe so who knows i don't know um but it'll it'll, it'll look dope it's just it'll go with the idea it'll go with the flow it, it'll look dope right but ah uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. I know the valve cover doesn't really get too hot, right? Like, it doesn't get through two, three hundred degrees. It's a valve cover. It's, it has air going through it, right? Right? It has air going through it, right? I believe it does. I believe it's just air uh, and pressure. It gets warm. I don't know. Anyways, I'll let y'all know. Yo, let this video get ten likes. Like. Y'all subscribe, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. I don't care, bro. Let's get some traction on these things. Let's put it out. The 5 Series is almost done. Project X is almost done. We're almost there. I set my axles. I'm waiting for my axles. And then the drive shaft needs to get measured as soon as it gets back to the mechanic. So next week, in the middle of the week, so about next week, Wednesday, I'm going to send the car back to the mechanic. It's going to get done. You hear me? Um, so yeah, it's going to have everything on there. It's still not going to be tuned, so it's not going to have its... You know, it's not going to be tuned uh, because I'm still waiting for the drive shaft and the axles, which obviously that's going to take a while too because they say it could take up to 10 weeks as well. But the car will still be driving already. You know, we'll be able to get that um, off the shelf stage two hybrid turbo thing on there and um, I'll be fully E85 compatible. So I don't know. I'll figure, we'll figure it out together. You know what I'm saying? We're going to figure it out together. 
but Road to the Fastest 535i in the world is officially on its way, you know what I'm saying? Um, and regarding my haircut, I'm letting my hair grow out because my barber fucked me up. He fucked me up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have cursed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My barber messed me up. He really messed me up, okay? Uh, he got, he got, he got like, bro. You know, like, I'm looking crazy. I can't even show you how he messed me up. But my, my tape, I got like a natural tape. And I don't, I'm sorry. I don't have natural tape. I have no natural tape. So you got to make a tape. And my tape, the potential to make my tape would just be so fresh. It should be ch 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 straight, right? But it's not. He made ch slant, slant. I was like, why? Why? So, I don't know, bro. I like my barber. It's been a nice run. I don't know if I'm gonna go to you again, bro. That shit, it hurt my back. Like, I, the fact that you, you take me off the chair and you say I'm ready to go and you giving me these slants. Bro, I'm wearing hats and I just paid you for a haircut. Like, why? Know what I'm saying? That ain't cool, bro. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out together, y'all. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Let me see what time is it. It's 8.10. I'm gonna get another coat on here. Try to get this to a different angle or something. And um, I'll see you on the next one.